There are always stricter and stricter new regulations. Sometimes as powertrain engineers, we feel that there's no more solutions and that we're in the dark. But life goes on. This day, while I was leaving my flat to go to our FEV laboratories, I was thinking, damn, how will I reach these new emission standards? It was already difficult enough to do it with the new regulations. Euro 6 and EPA 1065 standards and WLTP cycles. And now they have invented a new one, Real Driving Emissions, or RDE. Until recently, we had only this NEDC and FTP cycles. And the goal was just, if we can say just, to reduce the pollutants, the NOx, the particulates, carbon monoxide, and so on. But honestly, it was not too difficult. If I would drive following an NEDC or a FTP cycle, I would probably fall asleep. NEDC and FTP, low acceleration, constant speed. But they have now invented these new standards and we have to now follow a new road. So let's now follow much more realistic standards with strong acceleration, with consideration of the altitude and of cold. This is the challenge. And the consequence is that we have to optimize the powertrain on a much bigger driving area. What a cost! How to find the right solution, a realistic solution. In a perfect world, we could imagine using a huge EGR and a huge SCR. Increase my testing capacities by 10. Also hiring 10 more times calibration engineers spend one year in Argentina for the altitude tests and six months in Finland for the climatic tests. These are not good solutions. Let's see now the right solution, the FEV solution. At FEV, we have developed a collaborative and model-based framework following a road to rig to desktop development process. You perform many tasks at the rig instead of the road and many tasks at the desktop instead of the rig. How? This is the key. We simulate the engine and its environment with a unique high level of accuracy. By doing it this way, we select and pre-validate the powertrain architecture and we evaluate the emissions from the beginning. Let's focus on ECU calibration. For calibration, we use simulation methodologies and our robust FEV methodologies and tools. At the powertrain test bed, we perform a first calibration on steady state points. Then the calibration is made at the desktop by simulation with a virtual powertrain for transient cycles. The result? Up to 30% of the physical tests are made by pure simulation, thanks to a unique precision of the models, following an assessment of one of our customers. Then the final validation is made on the road, again with FEV software solutions. Let's now go step by step through this development process. The first step is simulation at the desktop. We define the best powertrain architecture, its best control. We predict fuel consumption and pollutants, thanks to our advanced co-simulation platform. The co-simulation platform is named XMOD. Then we devise the design of the powertrain, thanks to our advanced knowledge in the new technologies, such as SCR, variable compression ratio, and our expert software, Virtual Engine. Then we mount and test the engine. This is one of the hearts of FEV with a high level of expertise, for example, in post-treatment, lubrication tests, and many other fields. The next step is something central today. This is the calibration of the powertrain and its calculators. This is also a core experience at FEV. It requires a very high level of calibration engineering expertise, high-tech facilities, and advanced software tools. Our advanced software tools are clearly a must for these calibration tasks and for reaching the RDE challenge by helping to reduce significantly the different tasks. Then the last step is to check in the real car that what has been designed at the desktop and tested at the rig is running well now on the road. And thanks to FEV experts and advanced software, the challenge is successfully met. As a result, at the rig, 
the completion of a full calibration optimization process has been reduced from three days to four hours. Imagine how many for the complete engine calibration. <laughs> wow, now it finally works. With FEV, taste the difference.